Good Sunday to you. Let Boats Fly here again on a nice hot day here in California as usual. Uh, let's talk a little about 380 and 9mm case and rim thickness. Um, there's been a lot and a few um, YouTube videos and discussions about whether you can uh, reload 380 on a 9mm uh, uh, shell plate and uh, dies. Um, if you know anything about the 380 dimensions, it is a tapered case just like a 9 mm but your uh, rim thickness is a lot thinner than a 9 mm um, So what I did was I bought a separate set of dies from Lee, of course, and, and what you'll see is you'll see the dimensions for the 380 itself. So basically a 380 um, has a... Uh, some circumference of I think it's uh, 373 373 versus uh, 380 trying to make your uh, 380 fit in a 9 millimeter shell plate now we're talking about the uh, the Lee uh, Pro 1000 and the shell plates uh, fit each individual cartridge uh, rim you know for stability and for easy loading so, and with that, um, over here I have a 380 setup, the dies, and uh, the thickness on the 9mm, I'm going to show you in a minute here, if I can find me a 9mm case, is a lot thicker. So, here I go, I'm going to put the uh, shell into the... Uh, and what happens? Oop. If you look, it doesn't go in all the way. And if you put the 380 in, of course, you got a little bit of wobble, but uh, once it locks in place, it's snug as. Uh, this is actually my shell plate for my uh, 32 caliber setup. So the 32 short and the 32. A 380 automatic have the same case thickness. So I was able to use my number one uh, shell plate disc for the 32 uh, Smith and Wesson and uh, 32 327 Federal Magnum for the 380 as well. As far as sizing up your shells on a 380 to the 9 millimeter. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do it, but you're not going to get the proper circumference and dimensions, you know, for your uh, particular handgun. Okay, we're going to make some measurements right now for the uh, thickness of the rim on the uh, 380, and uh, we'll go ahead and zero out our Harbor Freight calipers, and let's see what we got here. I got about got about four zero 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 four zero for the uh, three eighty and the nine millimeter we have looks like forty seven and forty eight respectively. So as you can see, the th thickness on the uh, nine millimeter rim is extremely thicker. So right now I'm uh, using the uh, number one shelf plate for the uh, 32 caliber and it actually works for the 380 as well. As you can see it uh, works quite effectively. Okay, we're going to check the circumference of the uh, a size 380 shell. Like a 370. 370 and then a 9mm like a 376 now these are sized uh, through the lead dies so what will happen is of course once they get expanded and you put the round in it's gonna get the uh, maximum circumference so the 380 being a uh, 3.73-3.74 the 9mm 
being a uh, uh, 3.80 uh, roughly in that area there so uh, your chambering for the 380 is going to be a little bit more sloppier into a 9mm chambering so uh, but the shell difference circumference thickness in both the, both the rim and the diamond of the bullet are totally different okay they're not the same um, don't let people fool you thinking they're the same you know so get the proper dies for the proper cartridge and also get the proper shell foot with the right thickness of the uh, rim on each cartridge okay so this is the uh, the shell holder that comes with the Lee it's a number four and I'm gonna put the nine millimeter in it right now it doesn't fit and then the 380, of course. Okay, fits perfectly. In and out. All right, so I'm gonna continue. Okay, so now we'll uh, do a comparison with loaded rounds. So I have a loaded 9 millimeter with 115 grain um, jacket round nose. And let's see what we got here. Looks like about 378. Roughly 378 loaded. Now let's get a 9 millimeter here. Let's get a uh, uh, Winchester round, round nose. This is about 371 loaded. So quite a significance in uh, size. Um, just enough, not too much, but just enough to make a difference in uh, the chambering and, uh, and for reloading as well. Let's look at some of the specs. Okay, so I have my Lyman number 49th edition. And if you look at the 380 on the um, uh, the bottom there, uh, it shows the rim thickness of about 0 0.045. And I got the thing I got uh, 40040. And then let's go ahead and look at the 9 millimeter. Okay, let's take a look at here. Rim thickness is about five zero. So, so as you uh, just witnessed, you know the three eighty and the nine millimeter are twenty two different cartridges. Performance is uh, a little bit different, but you're using the same diameter bullet, roughly at three five four to three five five, three five six. Uh, each handgun. That's a huge, whether it's a 3 or 9mm, we're going to have a different board dimension based on rifling and manufacture. Anyways, um, hope you learned something from this. Use the right components for uh, loading your cartridges accurately, and you'll have less follow ups, less damaged cartridges. And uh, thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and make those comments, please. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.